How's it going? Welcome back to the Daily Grind. It's definitely been a minute. I hope you guys are forgive me for that. Been uh, I don't know, just got all carried away here around the holidays, busy and tied up and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we are going to try to get back on the regular Daily Grind. So let's take a look and see what we're getting into this week. here at the Swanee Inn. Once again, last time we was here, we did the hallway upstairs. We are now downstairs. It's basically the exact same thing. Yay, really exciting. Uh, we learned a couple things last time that we're gonna implement or apply this time to this. So we're gonna make it a little easier to deal with, a little faster, less painful and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, yesterday we managed to get all the carpet tore up. We got all the uh, um, we got all the carpet tore up and all of the uh, cracks patched and everything like that. This morning, since we've been back, we have scraped over all the floor patch. Got everything smooth. You can see see the lines on it where we have scraped over everything. You can see this is shiny where the actual crack was all pumped up just a little bit higher than actual floor, so cut all of that off. We got everything all uh, scraped down and vacuumed up. Now we are ready, yes, I did say vacuumed up. Now we are ready to bring in some carpet. So this floor was a little rougher than the upstairs floor, quite a bit more floor patch that needed to go. You can see these, here actually wasn't too bad, a little triangle piece right there, but some of them were quite uh, quite extensive for prep. You can see right there, this one right here was pretty bad. This one just had more damage to the concrete than the one upstairs did by all means. So quite a bit more patchwork here on this one than on the one upstairs. But anyway, nonetheless, we got it all ready to go. We got everything prepped, cleaned up, and we are fixing to start bringing in carpet. As last time, we didn't get here till about 11 o'clock because it takes a couple hours to get all the carpet cut and everything the way that we cut it down. Skinny, down the hallway areas. Look here, just like we did last time. Got these skinny spots here cut down to that width and then we leave the wide openings on the carpet so we're not having to seam it here we don't want to do that no seams here no seam there we leave this on the carpet so measuring and allowing these to stay as we cut the narrow spots down just takes a little bit of time to do all that at the warehouse when you don't have lengths to you know get 37 and 40 foot cuts rolled out all at once because it's just a just uh it's crowded down there nonetheless but anyway we got four cuts with this today and i definitely don't think that we're going to get that much done it's probably i don't even know but it's probably about one o'clock i didn't check the time before i got on the camera here but we got one two i think three right here because that one back there is one all itself four 14 foot so that's one itself and then we got one right here past past the bend in the hallway we got one cut here so we're going to bring the carpet in get it all lined up it, first thing we're going to do this time uh right off the bat we're going to bring all these pieces of carpet in get them lined up and ready to go and then we'll do some folding back and gluing so we're going to do the process a little bit different than we did last time it's going to help us out Okay, we got all the carpet rolled, I mean, excuse me, not rolled out, but brought in here. You can see how we do the wide spots for those wide areas. 
they're rolled out and cut and they just flapped over just like that right there. So it can be rolled up to seven or eight foot wide. I think I did these about eight. Uh, so this right here was actually an accident. I didn't mean to cut that off of that. It was an accident. I was just down there cutting and got carried away. It was like, went ahead and row cut and I was like, crap, that wasn't supposed to be on there. That was supposed to stay connected from here down past the corner there. So anyway, we'll make do what we gotta do though. So one, does that big square area right up there. This is 14.9, it does from this doorway all the way back. Number two, which is this one, you see here, it's folded over, the wide spot's folded over and the little skinny part. So that is gonna come, see here, from that red mark right here, back to the doorway, which I believe is 27. This next one is 37, was supposed to be. From here, down, to pass the corner there, but it actually ended up getting cut off by accident right there. So, and then that other big fat one down there comes from here down all the way to where it is. And again, I think it is a 37 or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but anyway. Let's take a little break and get back to it. Okay, so we got that initial one. And then we took our seam, matched it up perfect, and then run a line right down the center to a mark on the concrete down there. Lined our pattern up according to the dry line. Now we can loosely cut this in and go on to the next one that's what we're going to do we're going to get a bunch of these lined up down to there they'll be all ready to go so that's the plan i don't even know if we'll spray any glue today i just want to get a whole bunch of these all laid out and party all righty we got that much left three more pieces uh 30 foot six a 30 foot three and a 17 six we'll finish up that hallway and we got all this put in today, everything's all, we're gonna be doing the same thing we did upstairs. We're gonna be putting in a little double stick uh, piece of carpet right here to separate that seam. Uh, anyway, we got, let's see what I did today, what I got here. I think a 36, let me get up here and I'll grab my paper right here. I think I did a 36, a 14, a 37, and a 27, I believe is what I did. So, right there, yeah. 14, 9, 27, 35, and 36, 6. And tomorrow, 30 foot 6, 30 foot 3, and 17, 6. And that'll have us all the way to the end. And then we'll be doing our double stick. So I like the way this is going. You can see all this is just sitting here, but everything is already all lined up, trimmed down and ready to fold back and glue. I absolutely love the way this is working out like this. Um, I'll go ahead and do the other three pieces like that tomorrow and then I'll be able to, I don't know yet if I'm gonna, whenever I do fold these halfway back. So what I'm gonna do now, I can take fold half, fold half, and fold half all, all the way down the hallway. And whenever I do that, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna go ahead and glue my seam or leave my seams, you know, maybe a couple feet this side and a foot and a half this side and a foot and a half this side of my seam and then just fold those back into them. I'm not sure yet what I want to do. I'll, I'll sleep on that and tomorrow I will go and do, do what I've got to do with it. I haven't got none of them sealed yet. So I still have to seal all the seams before I put them together. 
what I did last time, I would sell one, then I would, uh, like I would sell this piece here, and then I would sell this and put a couple tools or something under it, that way it would stay up off of my other piece before, uh, until it dried, so it wouldn't get a sealer on it. And just like last time, I'm gonna to have to do a little seam, not much at all, just a small seam. I mean, it's so close right there. Golly, I mean, super close right there. And also, um, right back here, I've got to do another seam. Done, I had to do the exact same thing last time. And right here, I already got my fill piece cut for it, so that piece right there cut out right here. So anyway, really liked using that dry line on this. That worked out super good. It was allowed me to get everything nice and straight all the way down. It's just a lot easier like that. I've definitely, I don't, I don't like doing commercial work, so I don't know how much I'll be doing of this, especially when my, uh, after March, whenever my higher prices take in effect or March 1st, rather, because he just told me straight up, you know, you'll probably have to miss out on commercial work. I was like, yay. <laughs> Didn't hurt my feelings a bit. But anyway, I like doing it like this. And if I do do more, <laughs> I said do-do. If I do end up doing more commercial work, I will do it like this. I really like the way this is working out right here. Much, much better improvement from when we did the upstairs. It's always nice to do one and then reflect on it and are able to do another one. Anyway, that concludes today's Daily Grind. I really appreciate you guys checking in. And again, I apologize for going so long without any content up. I, I mean, just the holidays, you know what I'm saying? So not really an excuse, but I'm using it as one anyway. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the Daily Grind. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.